organically grown food has become a fad in recent years. Many people believe that organic food is better for you than non-organic food. However, what people don't see are the disadvantages not only to the consumer, but to the producer as well. <clears throat> not only does it, it cost more for the producer to grow organic products, but it costs more for you, the consumer, to buy the product. Organic farmers produce less product per acre, and if they want to, if they want to produce the same amount as a conventional farmer produces, they need more land so they can, so that they can plant more of their product. Farming conventionally, farming conventionally produces more for less, which means that it's cheaper for you to buy. By creating more land for the ability to grow organically grown products, we are destroying more, more wetlands and forests. The reason that we need more land is that organic farmers are not allowed, are not allowed to use insecticide, pesticide, or any other chemicals. <clears throat> As a result of not using any chemicals, many, many of the pro products grown are either destroyed or eaten by bugs, insects, animals, and weeds. For those who think that organic, organically grown products are better for you than conventionally grown products because of the fact that organic farmers are not allowed to use insecticides, pesticides, or chemicals. <clears throat> and believe that it is hazardous for your health, well, you're wrong. Chemicals that are used by conventional farmers are tested and approved by the USDA and the EPA. <clears throat> who release them when release them for the farmers to use for the safety and health of the consumer. It is also a known fact that no matter what method of farm no no matter what method of farming is being used, you should always wash the product before consuming it. Organic farming will never be able to produce enough food to feed the world. Conventional farming always has and always will be able to supply the amount of food needed for the, to feed the world. Conventional farm, farmers are also able to use hybrid seeds. Uh, hybrid seeds help produce more, more product per acre. An example of a hybrid seed is a corn seed has been developed that is able to withstand cold weather. And the seed company Pioneer has come out with a seed that is, uh, sustains drought. Uh, organic farmers have to cultivate their fields to help, to help reduce the amount of weeds in their fields. But uh, conventional farming, you don't have to. Conventional farmers have the choice of either cultivating or no-till. And no-till is when you don't cultivate or till the soil and you leave it undisturbed until you plant it. <clears throat> no-till is the better option because not only is it better for the farmer because the farmer uses less fuel, which means less money, but it's also better for the soil. Organic farmers, use, for fertilizer, they use animal manure and a lot of water. Uh, but conventional farmers use a fertilizer that is mined from the soil so that you, so you know that it is good for the plant, the soil, and you. <clears throat> the facts are irreversible. Organic farming is taking more money and more land from the people. Organic food is not better than non-organic. So the next time you go to make a purchase, choose conventional, conventionally grown products, not just for you, but for the world.